What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. In today's video we have the Vanguard Weekly Nightfall Strike with Berserk, Small Arms, Chafe and everyone's favourite, Fresh Troops. Because who doesn't actually like having more enemies to fight? Seriously, honestly, why? So, before I keep babbling, let's roll the intros. Let's get into the video. Pretty cool loot, honestly, I'd have to say. Pretty good this week. Also, there'll be a glitch in this video. If you guys want to actually know how to cheese the Fogoth strike, whether it be the Seavified Fogoth or the regular Fogoth, you guys will be able to see how you do it. So, early intro, let's get into this. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> In today's video, Vanguard Weekly Nightfall Strike. Now, I do have to say, this week being Fogoth, it was actually surprisingly different. I went through with Unknown Clone the first run, we were both Titans. Now, when you think of Titans, you usually think bubbles. Those good old bubbles always protect you. However, as you can see in this video, I die a lot. Like, I'm talking a lot. Look, death, death, death. Wait, that's unknown clone. Okay, that's that's fine. Wait, no, that's me. Death. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's nightfall. A little bit of a challenge for us. Now it was one of those things where we were actually messing around. I think it was eight in the morning, nine in the morning, sometime when we actually did that. It was a lot of fun though. The actual strike in itself was pretty enjoyable. However, this part right here, yeah, not so much. Didn't really like it. It kind of sucks. But quickly. Before I actually go any further, let us just show you guys how you can actually glitch into the Fogoth Strike. Now, I didn't actually think you could do it with a Warlock. Turns out you actually can. All you really need is a sword, or actually just to be pretty good with your glides. As you can see, I jump up there, get on that light, I jump again, slice, get up onto this little top platform, I jump again, get over to this second area. I actually made a mistake and sorted at the wrong point, but as you guys will see, there's this little crack, little hole up here that you can kind of just sneak through. So, we'll be your way through there after you've ducked. Come in here, take an immediate right. Don't actually go anywhere near the pink stuff or the red stuff. It's cool, it's not important, but yeah. As you guys can see, we got a special guest, Mr. Potato Prime. He's joined us for this strike. At this moment, I'm running through with the Warlock. I will have the actual Titan after this, so you guys can see. It is fairly easy. Wait, no. It's not the Titan, it's the Hunter. I do it on the Hunter. So, anyway, as you guys can see, just keep following where I'm going. It's kind of just jumping up on rocks, getting outside the map. You get to this a certain point, and you actually have to get up above things. I made a mistake here, as you can see, and I land on some chains. I fall down slightly, but I can make it back up to those chains. Get up there, you get up to the top, you run all the way to the back part, as you can see here. It always looks so beautiful, honestly. That actual background there is amazing. I wish I could have that as an actual Xbox background. Potentially I might if I can take my hat off at one point and find a good picture That's gonna be my screen so anyway, I'm babbling. As you guys can see you jump off this little top bit fly down Make sure you don't actually die. Don't touch the green stuff because you know no one likes high farts But I myself run up to this big ass boss. I throw my super at him. It does absolutely nothing the sword in itself Honestly, it was failing me quite a bit, but as you guys will see, let's just speed this up slightly. There you go, a little bit quicker, killing him slightly faster. Now, before you actually do kill said boss, well, Fogoth to be exact, what you want to do is get him down to this little bit of health. As you can see, there is a very tiny little amount of health. It works out very easily for you and your actual team. You need two people for this, so that's one of the big things. Have the second person standing outside, outside the actual room before you come in to see Fogoth in itself. Pretty much just stand there. Have one person standing there. You glitch outside the map on a Warlock, Titan, Hunter, whatever you want. Come in here, pretty much shoot the shit out of the Hive Abomination. Good old Fogoth. He's always chained up, doing this actual strat in itself. If you're going to be smart like this, as you can see, go into the front and actually shoot his uh, crit spot. I didn't do that at first, which... A little bit of fail, but again, it is a lot of fun doing this. Now it is a very big cheese, but again, one of these strikes just, 
you know, sometimes there is those strikes where you just really, really want to get through it quickly. Sometimes it is the Nightfall strike, sometimes it's Heroic strikes. Most likely for me, it is the Silent Flares because I don't like them, they're shitty. The Cabal Brothers, eh, not so bad, there's pretty easy cheese spots in that. Almost all bosses have cheese spots. The Silent Flares, definitely their cheese spot getting outside the map and doing all that good stuff from the side is definitely a smart thing to do. Or you can actually get above the map and shoot them from above, you know. It's always fun to do this kind of things. So I potentially, if I can remember to do the cheese, when that strike comes around, I will do a video for that. But as you can see, Hive Abomination is almost dead. Let us just invite Unknown Clone and Mr. Potato Prime into the room so that these guys can actually get the kill on Fergoth. And so when they come in, the moment they actually walking through the door, make sure you just completely blast the shit out of the Hive Abomination. Kill him, make sure you don't get killed by knights because they're pretty shitty. And uh, yeah, you got loot, you got exotics, you got blues, you didn't actually get a skeleton key or an actual treasure chest. But again, we completed the strike. Pretty freaking awesome. I like it. So, let us get on to the actual hunter quickly. I'll play that quickly in the background while I do talk about something just a little bit different. All right, so now we got the hunter going through. Huntress, as you can see, she's doing her good stuff. Well, I'm doing my good stuff with her. Sounds wrong. Anyway, with this actual little clip here, I did want to kind of make a statement and say, honestly, thank you guys. I know I do actually say it a little bit. I don't say it enough as much as I kind of should. You guys are fucking amazing, honestly, you are epic. Thank you for your time, thank you for watching my videos, thank you for just being you. Honestly, you guys are alive, you guys are just, you're cool. You guys kind of keep me going through a lot of the different downtimes of my life. I myself am going through a little bit of a depressionary stage at the moment, but seeing subscribers, comments, likes, all those things, you guys are honestly fucking awesome. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my soul, everything that I am, I have to say, you guys are amazing. So thank you. There will be a vlog actually coming probably in the next couple of days. I will actually get my uh, Canon camera out and actually DSLR some stuff. Mainly videos, as vlogs usually are videos, but again, there should be um, some cool stuff in there. Potentially some photos of me and my mum. That'd be pretty cool if I can actually get permission from her to put some of them in the video. Potentially the uh, girlfriend might actually have a photo come in at some point. She's really, really freaking shy. However, she does really kind of get into the mood of editing videos, which I myself need to copy what she does because I get distracted, I uh, kind of get lost when editing videos. I babble like this as I am doing, so let's speed things up just a little bit on this Huntress so we can get through this a little bit quicker. So, quick rundown, this Huntress is actually glitching, the Warlock glitch, the Titan can glitch. All three characters can actually do this glitch. Pretty much, it's very easy. It's kind of simple, it's one of those things where you actually try it out for the first time, potentially you fail, potentially fail second time, potentially you even fail a third time. But the fourth time, the fifth time, and the sixth time, you'll actually get it. You'll be down flat pat. So, thank you guys for honestly watching my videos. Thank you for being amazing. And just thank you for actually being here. Seriously, it is fucking awesome. You guys are watching my videos. You guys are amazing. Anyone out there, if you want to collab, if you want to do whatever it is, let me know. Send me a message. I'll be down for it. I need to get actually into YouTube more than what I have been recently. I know I am going through a process of moving different things. My computer is practically dead. Uh, there was a stage, I think, about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. It actually caught on fire. I think I might have a video clip, maybe, potentially. Do we have a video clip? No? Okay, no video clip. Sorry. But uh, yeah, the computer was on fire. Pretty sucks. I hated it. Got upset. Anyway, fixed a few things. Uh, yeah, took out quite a few of the different components that actually were kind of heating things up. Changed out the GPU, put in a uh, new actual CPU in itself, which slightly made things a little bit better. I changed out the actual memory and put in new DDR memory in. Hopefully that actually does save some of my files and doesn't corrupt things. But again, I'm babbling. I do this. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Let's get onto the loot drops. Let's do this. So first of all, starting out with the Warlock. Now me, Unknown Clone and Potato Prime decided that we wanted to actually run this strike. As you can see, I got an Ice Age Bond. I like that movie. 
It's always a good movie. Space is cold. We got a 44 curtain call for Unknown Clone. We also got 17 strange coins for Mr. Potato Prime. As you can see, he only got three kills. He hasn't played in a while, but we're going to get him back into it. Going to have him in a few more videos. And we have to collab a little bit more, dude, because seriously, we got to do it. Next up, though, we've got the Titan. Alrighty, so on my Titan, me and Unknown Clone went through and died quite a bit. As you can see, I got a lot less kills than he did. But again, loot, yeah, pretty cool. 18 strange coins, 12 three of coins. Um, yeah, can't say I complain. Anyway, finally, let's get onto the Huntress. See what the Huntress got. It's good, trust me. So quickly, before we actually get into this, as you guys will see, on my Huntress, I made the biggest mistake you possibly could with the Hive Abomination. Well, actually, with this glitch anyway. I told them to walk in before he actually was at one shot, and I get completely and utterly destroyed. I get trapped, I get blasted, and then I get dropped. So, yeah, Shriekers, that's up to you, because, uh, Unknown Clone, however, he decided that he was gonna come in, he was gonna save the day, he was gonna be the boss. Mr. Potato Prime died because he was serving his team. He was trying to be that guy that actually comes in for the kill. As you can see, Unknown Clone's just hopping around with his dragon's breath. He targets that big bad boss. He fires. It's fire. He fires again. Nope, he doesn't fire again. It's just fire on the floor. Napalm, to be exact. So, let us see what we actually got on the Huntress with Mr. Potato Prime and Unknown Clone. The Huntress coming out with some of, if not, the best loot for this week. As you can see, Unknown Clone got 19 Strange Coins, I got a KD Bogatire 2.0 at 400, good rolls, and Mr. Potato Prime got Anton's Rule at 374 when he's 368, so that is pretty freaking cool. But, that is the loot for the video. This has been the Nightfall video for the week. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. Do all that good stuff and I'll be cheering like Karen ever. He was at cheering. Share this video around because it seriously helps out the channel, helps me out, and it helps you guys out to see more of my content. Do all that good stuff. I'll be cheering like Karen if he was at cheering. But until next time, this is Zach Novak. Signing off. Peace out.